Hey everyone, Nicholas JMV. Today we're going to be finding the second derivative of an implicit function. Well, in order to find the second derivative, everybody, you got to find the first derivative. Now, with implicit differentiation, if you're finding the second derivative, oftentimes you're going to see a fraction, and that fraction is going to contain x and y. So it makes the second derivative a little bit harder to find. So we're going to do two examples today, and both of them are pertaining to this equation. Okay? So it says find the second derivative if x and y are related by this equation. So I'm going to go ahead and rewrite that. I am going to assume that you know how to differentiate implicitly already. So power rule here, so 3y squared times y prime equals the derivative of constant is 0. The derivative of ln of x is 1 over x. Don't forget the minus there. Solving for y prime, I get y prime is equal to negative 1 over 3xy squared. Okay, there's my first derivative. I'm not done yet. I'm halfway there. So now I have to differentiate this function, which is going to take a lot of work. It's a quotient, so the quotient rule is bottom times the derivative, so bottom times the derivative of the top minus top times derivative of the bottom over bottom squared. And I want to draw your attention to these two terms here, 3x and y squared. You're also going to need product rule, which is first and times derivative of the uh, second plus second times derivative of the first. Okay, how's my wife saying? Swearing on the thing. Oh, dang. Sorry. I'm not going to start that over because I've literally tried to do this four times today. So um, we've got these two derivatives that we're going to take or use these rules to just to do this derivative. So now watch. Bottom times derivative of the top. The derivative of the top of a constant is zero. So this actually is gone. This negative I'm going to bring out here. This negative is going to go right here. So I'm working at top, which is one times the derivative of the bottom. Derivative of the bottom now is this first, which is 3x, okay, times derivative of y squared, which is 2y times y prime. There's first times derivative of the second plus second times derivative of the first. So plus y squared times derivative of 3x, which is just 3. That whole thing is over 3xy squared to the second. Let's clean this up. Negative, negative makes positive, so now we're going to have 6, right? 3 times 2, 6xy times y prime plus 3y squared all over 9x squared y to the fourth. Okay, so almost done now. We have y prime though, so we have to look here and notice what we have. We know what y prime is. We found it up here. So by substitution, now we've got to clean that up a little bit. Okay, so let's see what that looks like. So we're going to go ahead and say 6x, whoops, put that in the paper, 6xy times y prime, which is negative 1 over 3xy squared plus 3y squared, all divided by 9x squared y to the fourth. Okay, you can clean this up a little bit. Okay, you know, we can simplify the 6 and the 2. The x and the y's are going to simplify. Let's look at this. First, you get negative 2 over y plus 3y squared. So this simplifies nicely, all divided by 9x squared y to the fourth. Okay, and then we can simplify even further if you keep going and ration or get the same denominator here and try to simplify. You end up with negative 2 plus 3y cubed over 9x squared y to the fifth. Okay, so that was a long process. You can clean this up a little bit um, on your own. Okay, so there is our second derivative. Now, if you look at this second derivative, one of the important things to do is if, in this next example, if you're asking for the second derivative at a point like this, so say we wanted to know what's the, 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 the derivative at that point, what's the slope of, the, at that curve, uh, of the curve at this 
at this particular point. You don't have to go through all of this. You don't want to go through all this, get this equation, and then plug in x and y. It's too much work. Okay, You'll make a mistake. So I put this here, is that we're going to look at the example. So what happens here is we're going to find the value at this point of our, for our, of our example above. Remember that I got this expression right here before I substituted in the y prime. I had this big long expression and what they're saying here is that from here you're going to stop. You're not going to plug in y prime and get an answer. What you're going to do is you're going to plug in your x and y which are here and here and then you're going to plug in your value for y prime. Now y prime was equal to negative 1 over 3xy squared. Well you can go ahead and plug that in, okay? And if we found y prime, y prime of this e cubed comma 1, if you want to do the correct notation, you'd have negative 1 over 3xy squared. You plug in e cubed for x and 1 in for y, and you're going to be left with negative 1 over 3e cubed. Now you've got that answer. And so what you do now is plug in to this. So you have 6 times x. x is e cubed. So 6e cubed, right, times y. y is 1 times y prime. y prime now is negative 1 over 3e cubed. And there's the simplification. So you get it separately. Now you're just plugging in x, y, and y prime versus trying to solve for this first completely, right, and then plug in. And then we have plus 3 times 1 squared. I'm just plugging all that in. And then there's the denominator, which is 9 times e cubed squared times 1 to the fourth. And when you simplify and clean all of this up, the 6 and the 3 can simplify the e cubed. And the e cubed can simplify. You're left with 1 over 9 e to the 6, right? The 1, that's just 1 right there. You have 3 here. So you can clean this up. Whoops. A bit and you're left with 1 over 9 e to the 6. Okay, so that's just how to find the second derivative um, of implicit differentiation and uh, finding uh, the slope at, of the curve at a particular value. Questions or comments, go ahead and email me. We'll see you next time.